Lads, we've got to pay the bill, so a quick shout out to Manscaped, the sponsor of this video. Manscaped have now launched in Tesco's all across Ireland. So you can head into Tesco, get yourself the lawnmower. It's got the advanced skin safe technology, wireless charging, it's waterproof, got the LED light. You can also pick up the weed whacker in Tesco. The weed whacker is a nose and ear trimmer. So head into your local Tesco, pick one up for your brother, your dad, your uncle, your mother, your sister. If they're hairy, then they need Manscaped. On the other hand, if you want to buy online, get yourself the ultimate performance package 4.0 at manscaped.com. It's got the lawnmower 4.0, the weed whacker, the extras like the crop preserver that'll help the old chafage situation when you shave, the ball toner, spritz that on your nuts and you're laughing. Comes with a free pair of boxers and it comes in a really cool wash bag. It makes it handy for traveling if you're a man of culture. Use the code PINTS20, you get 20% off plus free shipping. Don't say we don't look after you. Is the Guinness Nitro Surge worth it? So it's over a year since Guinness, so fucking hell. So it's over a year since Guinness released this bad boy. It's, uh, I think it retails, retails around, I've seen it for 25, I've seen it for 30 in some Dunn stores, which seems a bit steep, 30 is a lot. But yeah, it comes in this little box. You take that off. I've done all this in the video before. Little charger and a little spout. I'm a little teacup, here's my spout. Stick the spout on, twist it on. Little label, remove before use, yeah? And it has a little lock and unlock. So you obviously put it on unlock, very smart. They've also got the special cans and a step-by-step -step guide down the side. The 558ml can, which is extremely unique, we all know a pint is 568 mils, so I believe they made it like that, so it fills up a pint glass. And the big advantage that the Nitro Surge has over a regular Guinness can is you get that beautiful dome, which Dome and Juliet dome wasn't built in a day, over the top. So I'm feeling hyped for this one, lads. You're gonna crack it open. There's no sort of because the gas isn't released yet. That's what this baby does. Ultrasonic waves and that. Pop it on. Push this button. The light at the top goes on. What I learned from last year through all the comments is it stays on, guru, you fucking idiot. You don't have to press it twice. Glass at 45 degrees and it comes out. You'll notice it kind of goes like zzz, zzz, zzz. I'm gonna go, yeah, two par pour. So keep the can straight, glass of 45, bring it to about four fifths, 80%, quick mats. Now we wait. I'll be honest, when I used this last year, and this is by, I got it sent to me, but it's absolutely by no means a paid thing from Guinness. Never worked with them in my life, surprisingly. I was pretty impressed with it because for all the millions of methods we tried with the cans and the surges and all that sort of shit, this did kind of come out on top and it's handy for such a small little device. But it's been a year and I'm wondering, is it actually worth paying 25 to 30 quid in the shop? Plus the cans, the cans work out about 250 to 3 euro each as well. <clears throat> so let's pour the rest of this. That light. Oh, see the fucking light isn't on. You were giving me shite last year. Like, I'm pressing it again because the light went off. So here we go. You might have to kind of pour out a bit of a mad angle. And now we get the beautiful domage. Almost went too much, but I'm a seasoned pro. So that should be just about right. Oh fuck, we have a bit of leakage. He's had an absolute shocker. I got greedy with the damage. Yeah, a bit of leakage. A few bubbles in the head. I'm letting it, letting it settle, but, but to be fair, like it's, it looks so much better than a regular can. Yeah. I'm hoping you can't see too much of that leakage, but yeah, got greedy. Still letting it, I mean, it, it's the, even the, the look of the saddle is so much more like what you would see in a pub. You gotta be patient, wait till all those bubbles have risen to the top. We're about there now. I mean, it looks great. Serious bit of damage on top. Creamy, few, good few bubbles, but you're always gonna get that with a can. Slant your lads. Conclusion, coming soon.
Yeah, look, I won't lie. I just filmed a video doing a regular can, so I literally have that taste on my tongue. For me, again, this is in no way, shape, or form a paid thing by Guinness. But for me, genuinely, I do think it's worth it. If you're if you're penny pinching, you're trying to save all your money, I would stick to the regular cans because they're probably like, maths is awful, maybe, I don't know, 30% cheaper or something like that. But for me, I just picture, you know, sitting around Christmas Day. Yes, it's a bit of a gimmick, don't get me wrong, but it produces, for me, it produces by far the best, the best Guinness you can get out of a can. So, you know, you're sitting around Christmas Day, talking scutter with your weird uncle who you haven't seen in three years. But at least you can bond over the gimmick that is the Nitro Surge. But it does produce a solid pint at home. For me, it's worth it if you're willing to spend the extra few bob. P.S. If a regular can is a 6, this is probably a 7.5 unofficial scale.